Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a video for you and it is going to be about how I've earned money from YouTube or how I've earned a bit of money from my YouTube channel and I thought it would be cool to share this with all of you because I would not earn any money from YouTube if it's not for all of your support where you have watched my videos, checked out my links in the description bar, like the video and subscribe to this channel. So thank you so much for all the support and yeah, I thought it would be fun to do this with you. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first way I've made money from YouTube was pretty unexpected. I started my YouTube channel in May of 2019, so a bit over a year ago and in July, I got this, what was it? I think I got a Facebook message from Stash Away. So they reached out to me because they had seen some of my videos that I had created at that point in time. And they say, hey, I would like to work with you on an affiliate program. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And I always assumed that I needed to hit the monetization checklist before I could even start to see any money from YouTube. I met up with them and I realized that our values were quite similar and I enjoyed their product where it is a product that I could see myself using and at that time I was very interested in getting to know what are the options out here in Southeast Asia where we have options to uh, I guess get involved in index fund investing or in Stashaway's case ETF portfolio investing so I thought there was a synergy there and I gave it a go and I am still up to this date doing Stashaway update videos. It's going to be a long-term investment for me so I do like working with the brand and I guess I'm getting sidetracked here again. So I agreed to work with them and when people, uh, which is all of you, use my referral link down below and you are investing in Stashaway for the first time or using the platform for the first time, I will get a fee for your successful referral. So um, I guess like once a month or once every other month, Stashaway will let me know that I have a certain amount of people successfully referred and I will send them an invoice for that successful referral. And so I had to learn a little bit about how to go about sending uh, invoices to partners and things like that. So that has all been very interesting. And yeah, so every other month or so, I will receive a couple of low hundreds from Stash Away for that. And I think that is pretty cool for residual income because I have put in the work of, you know, those videos, a review, a walkthrough, or an update, a portfolio update. And those videos will continue to gain me some form of income further down the line if people are using my affiliate referral link so yeah that's pretty cool and i thought that was uh yeah nice to share with all of you other than stash away do i have other referral links i do but i don't really utilize them so like for something like funding societies i left a referral link down below on that one there was no official partnership with them but I think at that time they were still doing you're know, like a regular person and you can refer someone they'll give you like a referral bonus or something like that but I don't continue to talk about funding societies because of the default rates that are really high so I have not really been utilizing funding societies in my tool kit for financial tools and yeah, so that's like a little mini update on funding societies and what I'm doing with that. I have stopped all auto-bought reinvestment and I've also started to pull out my money from funding societies. Other than that, there's also like book depository, but I don't think a lot of you have utilized my link for book depository and it's also like a little bit hard to navigate the affiliate uh, program there. And for Amazon Associates, I did apply for it but I have not really like pushed it out because like me personally coming from Southeast Asia where we don't really buy things on Amazon we mostly use Lazada, Shopee and other local platforms available to us because of geographical shipping reasons uh, so I haven't really like pushed a lot of Amazon affiliate links out 
So yeah, that is it for that category. The next way I've made money on YouTube, also very surprising, I never anticipated this. So my channel is, I guess, pretty small and I really enjoy pushing out content from time to time and this is my pastime or hobby. I'm doing this in my spare time, I do work a full-time job so I still feel very grateful that I get inquiries every once in a while from brands uh, that would like to work with me and yeah, so I guess I'll call this category speaking or sponsorship so when a brand reaches out to me, I will decide whether I would like to work with them and up to this day, I've only ever worked with one sponsored video so far and I agreed to do that sponsorship because I would use that product and I am using that product so I'm happy to endorse it but yeah I'm pretty picky when it comes to talking about things that I use I I think like principally I like to only talk about things that I would um, be happy to use and yeah that makes the most sense to me and I've said no to a lot of different inquiries just because I cannot see myself using them or I don't see myself investing in those asset classes so yeah I still appreciate that they send me emails though and it's quite interesting to navigate through this space and something that I learned in doing this is that you need to have a rate card ready when people are asking you for collaborations and things like that. So what is a rate card? A rate card, as my friend Mr. Money TV has told me, is a certain, I guess you can call it a talent fee or like a collaboration fee for working on a video. Like say if you are dedicating a specific video, you're creating it for them, then you get to charge a fee based on I guess your viewership and um, things like your click-through rate, your demographic and things like that. So we ourselves get to decide what we are worth in that sense. Not to say that our worth is completely equated to our work. That is not the case, but we still need to put a figure on how much we are willing to do a job for. So that was very interesting a process and to come up with a number that was super bizarre for me and I'm still getting used to it. I'm still practicing asking for payment in exchange for my time, my effort and things like that. So that has been a new journey for me and when it comes to earning money, I guess it's very similar in our day jobs or full-time jobs where we have to ask for those salary increases or those new job roles that we are interested in or the new projects that we're interested in working on. So I guess these skills all tie in and it is something to practice along the way and I guess we'll get better and better at it as we have more exposure. So yeah, that's the second way I've made money on YouTube and sometimes like people ask for a speaking fee as well. So that's something new to me and yeah, I'm also very careful as to who I work with and what I talk about so that you know I remain as true to who I am and the things that I believe in as possible. So I'll leave it at that. Okay, the third way I've made money from YouTube is the most recent way actually and I just checked my bank account and the money has come in and it is through Google AdSense. So all these ads that you see on Google, sorry, on YouTube where we play an ad before the video, during the video or after the video, these are advertisements that the, the advertisers are paying Google or YouTube in particular and YouTube will share 55% of the revenue with the content creators of those videos that have ads on them. So there is, I guess, like a whole mysterious way to how they actually work, but we are paid per million views of those ads or something like that. And each different country, based on where your viewers are watching in from, they have this thing called a CPM. So what I found interesting was that my CPM for Singaporeans are much higher than my Malaysian viewers. And yeah, so I kind of understand why sometimes people target certain countries where their viewers are at for that higher CPM. But basically, I have qualified for Google AdSense and in order to be monetized, you need 
1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within one year. And in March, I qualified for that, but I didn't get verified until recently, I, until July, where they sent me that uh, pin in the address that I needed to verify on Google AdSense and they sent it to my house address. The payment just came in, but I have like another missing payment that I'm not sure where it went, so I do need to contact Google AdSense to see how that is going. So the first payment that was supposed to come in that didn't come in was for $200, something like that, US dollars. And what they're meant to do is transfer it into your bank account that you specify as your primary receiving method. So I don't know where that went, that got lost, but there was a second payment that came in and that was for a hundred US dollars and this was the most exciting part about doing YouTube was that one day far far into the future I will be able to sleep and still make money and yeah the day has come and I think that is super mind-blowing to be able to not need to trade your time all the time for payment and you know we do this in our day jobs where the work that we do is paid for in our hours working and that's one of the things I really like about investing where we do it once okay I'm talking about long-term investing we do it once uh, where we look for the stocks and we pick them and we portfolio allocate and yeah we manage them over time and check out quarterly reports annual reports and we just make sure that those companies are still having that same story as when we first bought them and they're on their way to good growth. So all that work is put in once or across a few periods of time and we get to reap the benefit of dividends and capital appreciation in their share price over time. Uh, and also like similarly YouTube, I put in the work once where I plan the video, I film it, I edit it, I publish it and then that Google AdSense of monetization will keep going in the background as people watch the videos as I get more views, more subscribers and things like that. So I really like how that works in terms of a mechanic and in terms of an income stream. This is pretty damn cool to me and I didn't think that I would be able to monetize so soon within one year or a little bit more than a year. So yeah, it's really due to all of you that this is possible and I hope you enjoyed me sharing a little bit of this with you. Comment down below and like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate all the support because all of this really helps in terms of the YouTube mysterious algorithm that people keep talking about. But yeah, that's it for the video today. I will see you in the next one. Bye!